Question number one says a block of mass 0 0.55 kilograms is attached to a spring with a force constant of 109 newton meters. It is free to move on a frictionless horizontal surface as in the figure below. The block is released from rest after the spring is stretched a distance of 0 0.13 meters. Indicate the direction with the sign of your answer. Assume that the positive direction is to the right. A. At that instant, find the force on the block, and B, at that instant, find its acceleration. So this goes back a couple of units to just getting us used to messing with handling springs again. So uh, you can remember that the, the potential energy stored in the spring is equal to, so the force, the, the force is of the spring is equal to negative of this, of this spring's force constant, times the change of x from the x, x initial equaling equilibrium position. So x initial is equilibrium position where, there's, uh, where the force is zero. And so the change of x is how far we move away from the equilibrium position. And so by the sign being negative on k, you can see that the force is always going to be in the opposite direction of the displacement. So this is stretched this way the force is going to be in that direction. And we can set up the, the equation just really simply. The problem says that the force constant is 109. So we, we would say that the force is equal to 109 newton meters, newton meters times the change of x, which it gives us is 0 0.13 meters. And the, the meters will end up canceling out, leaving us with our units in newtons. And so you plug that into your calculator and you'll get that the force is negative 14.17 newtons. And that's because the, and I didn't put the negative on there up here, but negative 109, 109 newton meters times 0.13 is negative 14.17. So the displacement being in the positive direction, the force being in the negative direction. Then in part B it says at that instant find its acceleration. So we know that that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And so we can solve for acceleration. We would say that acceleration equals force divided by mass. Well, we have the force and we have the mass from the problem. And so I'm just going to go right up over here. And I'll put that the acceleration is equal to the negative 14.17 newtons divide it by the mass of 0 0.55 kilograms. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get that the acceleration is equal to negative 25.7636 meters per second squared. 